Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, as you guys uh, know, I assume you know because I said it before on the thingy, the interwebs. Um, I subscribe to the humble monthly bundle. The reason I subscribe to it is awesome game discoverability. It's like eight pounds a month, and until it gets bad, I'll just keep subscribing and see how it goes. Uh, this month, though, I had a couple of games I want to talk about, um, and I thought the first one I talk about is something I'm going to talk about before I've actually played it, which is bold, crazy, you say? I know, nuts. Um, and that is Neon Struct. Die Organ der Welt. I don't speak German. I have no idea what that means. I'll be honest, not any idea whatsoever. But it came as part of my monthly bundle. Monthly bundle, but that's the wrong word entirely. Humble monthly bundle, and it's a game I've not actually heard of. Hadn't been on my radar at all. But it's something that looking at, I think is right up my alley. And I had a little bit of issues launching it, so I thought I could share that with you guys as well as talking about the game for the first time. So it'll be a little bit longer than usual this video because it'll be me talking and going. Hmm, this is interesting, or this is shit. Um, we'll wait and see. Uh, so, uh, Neon Struct Die Organ der Welt. <laughs> I can't say it, I can't say it. Uh, it's on the manufacturer, manufacturer's developer's website um, to be purchased for $17.99 pence, or Deluxe Edition, which is $24.99, which is the version you get with the Humble Monthly. So that was all right, wasn't it? That's pretty good. Um, and it's also available on Steam. So let's look at the Steam page. Yay! As you can see, the little Steam OS logo there. So it's definitely available on Linux. Um, and we'll scroll down to see the requirements, which is 1204, some RAM, a graphics card, you know, all the usual stuff. Given that the uh, requirement's so low, I've launched the game once and just very just started the game to make sure it works. And given the requirements are so low, I'm impressed with how nice it looks. And uh, what was it? Mostly positive? Oh, very positive. And it's priced at £11.99 or £16.99 for the Deluxe Edition, which includes a soundtrack and art book. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, these sound digital soundtracks and art books are something that is, I've only recently started really enjoying. But like once you like play a game you like, if you end up liking the game, it's cool to sort of thumb through that stuff on screen afterwards and listen to the soundtrack if it's any good. Um, so yeah, uh, part of the Humble Monthly Bundle. Um, and oh, yeah, apparently if you get the bundle there, you can get payday, which is not a Linux game. You think they'd put the Linux games on the pre-order thingy to get people to... Anyway, I'm babbling nonsense. You can see the game's not loaded here, so let's go into Steam here. Look, there you go. And hit play. There you go. Nothing happened. Nothing whatsoever. So uh, if you right-click on the game, uh, go to Properties, and then from the list that pops up on the wrong monitor, because everything's on the wrong monitor today, uh, you can go browse local files. Um, all you have to do to get it working, weirdly, is, um, yeah, weird this. Uh, if you click on that, it doesn't launch. Uh, I've, I've tried it a few times. But if you open a terminal up uh, from that particular location, uh, and then you can uh, run uh, Neon, I think it is, yeah, just Neon, uh, the game, the game loads fine. So, weird. Yeah, a bit loud, but weird. Um, I don't actually know, I don't actually have any idea why it does that, and it's not one I've come across before, but apparently, if you just run it, it runs. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what to say about that. Uh, I just, this is like a standard thing, you do a checklist, isn't it? Like something doesn't work, so you run the executable to see what the error message is, and then sort of you start fixing from there. That's a standard, if you guys don't do that, it's a standard linux thing to learn. But uh, when it just launches, you go, well, why didn't you launch? <laughs> why, why didn't you launch? Um, I assume, is the Steam Overlay working? Yeah, I assume it's the Steam Overlay that's killing it. Um, so if you probably turn off Steam Overlay, uh, it'll probably work fine. I have known that to happen in games, which is a bit of an oversight, but a lot of people, especially in Linux, don't use that Steam Overlay, so maybe it's something they don't really think about. Uh, yeah. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's go new game. Because uh, all I've done is load this up to make sure it works. Um, wow, this isn't just mirrors. That seemed really loud. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit, shall we? It still seems a bit loud. There we go. It's a bit better. You can hear my dulcet tones now. I like the fact it's got a tourist mode. So if you want to explore the world at your own pace, so enemies will ignore you and hacking is done automatically. Basically, you're taking the game out of the game, um, but you can sort of just explore the environment. I think that's cool. Bioshock, for instance, would be amazing if you had something like that in Bioshock. Uh, the internet, the way but one is that runs in Linux. Um, yeah, you, you know, that'd be really cool. Um, there's a few games like Borderlands as well. There's certain areas of Borderlands I'd like to just explore, but perhaps it'll be too sparse um, by the time you get there. Anyway, I'm babbling, so let's hit easy, shall we? Because I've never played before. Yeah. Austin. It's not German at all. It's pretty cool. See, look, no textures. It's all done with lighting effects, um, which I really like, which is what keeps the game small. 
and they've stylized it in a way that makes it run pretty well. Um, as usual, I'm using a couple, losing a couple of frames because I'm recording, but yeah. Oh, yeah, just like dying light controls, just hold down space and walk forward stuff. Um, incoming call from somebody, push R to answer the call. No, no voice acting, just the sound of typing, which is pretty cool. Hello, Agent Clearly. I see you've just landed in Austin. Shall I brief in the mission? Uh, yeah, go on then. Uh, agency, Wayfair, Summit, Summit, uh, Mission, Twofold, Collect, Intel from Dead Drop, Plant the Bug. Um, okay. Well, seems, seems reasonable enough. Let's just do that. Uh, okay, I'll just, just ignore everything you said. I like how neon it is. It's even in the name. Uh, so yeah, let's go and have a look, shall we? So, I assume it's C to... Yeah, C to crouch. Under obstacles. Can I, should I hit that dude? Should I just close the door? Close the door. No, should I? Could I beat? No, that's how you fail the mission. I think I think that's how you fail the mission. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you just you have failed. Oh, load most recent save game. So let's just not. What? What happens if we sneak up? Is anything can do with this guy? Can I just, no, no, no. He did. No, he's gonna beat me to death again. What's that on his face? Is that the energy thing from Dragon Ball? No, I'm just failed. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, this time let's not bother the guy. I was just going to cut his throat or something. Maybe the game has trained me to be violent. I don't know. Seems like, ooh, okay. I'm going to sneak, look, check out me. Sneak in, all stealthy like. Um, is there a way, what does, does, does darkness that way? Um, his key card, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, this game's in a terrible job of training me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so he's going to come out and try and find me. So if I go around the other way, perhaps that's how I do it. Perhaps I go around the other way and then he can't find me and I can get the key card. Maybe this is it. No. I don't know what. No, no he's, he, this is the worst security guard in the history of security guards. Um, can I jump him? Is he going to come back in? Is the door shut down? He can't do it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't, I don't understand. No, no, I'm dead again. Okay, so maybe we should restart it and actually read that. <laughs> it seems like a guy should do a lot. Uh, return to title screen. Okay, a uh, new game. Easy. And this time, actually, let's just actually like. Uh, listen to what we're supposed to do, not just skip past it all. Uh, the game's really, really nice. I've got no qualms with that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Arthur McCall. Hello. Uh, yeah, refresh it. Okay, yeah. Let's skip past all this. Okay, tell me about the security here. Tell me about my equipment. Uh, the travelling light for the mission. Uh, you, is your Hudson. Hudson is heads up display. Okay, so we've got a heads up display. Uh, implement forearm. Uh, okay. Normally you carry a braking tool, but you drop yours two stories off. Don't remind me. Uh, purchase a new bit should approve. So what do we have to do? Tell me about security. Uh, clubhouse minimum with big events. Phoenix week. Whatever. Okay. So basically, then I've just I get I'm just trying to get out of this now. So we've we'll just got okay. I'll tell about the bug. Presidential suite. Uh, yeah. So okay. I'm just going to get in basically. Okay. Get in. Get extraction. So I know that I can climb up stuff. I know that I can crouch down past stuff. So it seems like I've got to put these things together in order to get in, which, which seems, this is not my kind of game. Usually I'm just shooting stuff. Okay, so I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get his attention there. Okay, I need a gate key. Okay, can I climb up on here? Don't let me climb up on here. No, I can't climb up on there. Oh wow, this is already annoying me. What does this thing do? What does this thing do? I'm on top of it now. No, nope. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's just most connection out. Can I open that thing? Climb that? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this game looks really good. It looks really fun and it looks really smart. But I, uh, I don't quite get what I'm supposed to do. Um, wow, this is just the... Oh, oh, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I did it, I did it, I got up can climb on things that just don't have any skills. So how, do, so how does this help me? Does this help me? Oh, I just, I fell down. 
Does this help me? Is there anything over here I missed? Can I interact with those bins? No. No, it would appear that this is this is maybe this is the whole game. Maybe this is it. This is the entire game. This is just what I do with my life now. Yeah, I want to stand up. I want to stand up. And I want to jump on the pipe. Jump on the pipe. Jump on the pipe. Jump on the. Ah oh, no. Jump on there. I don't. Can I, wait, I don't understand if this helps me. Um. Can I get? Oh, well, I don't understand. Where, where am I supposed to go? I get angry and frustrated. Uh. Okay, so maybe I can like jump over there, maybe. Okay, no, that's a no no. Wow, this is fun, isn't it? This is the best game ever. Okay guys, well other than me being really inept and not figuring out something that's probably quite obvious, um, it looks like this game runs pretty flawlessly i mean there's no performance issues here there's no weird linux related closing of stuff um it, it seems to run absolutely fine so i'm going to call this a success ah the guards can see me maybe this is the bit where i jump up here and then escape from him no no i can't apparently i can't jump up yeah, maybe, maybe he's gonna go look at me over there somewhere best security guard ever can i jump in from here no no god always wins God always wins. So yeah, great. Uh, but yeah, either way, this game is a success. It works in Linux, there's no problems with it. It looks like fun. I just have to actually um, figure out how to play it properly before I go on into it. Um, maybe a little video tutorial or actually like read the pop-ups, not just skip through them, might be the way to go. So let's just see what happens. If I go to properties here and I turn off the Steam overlay, uh, and then hit play. That's really weird. That's the weirdest bug ever. But I can just go and launch the game manually, and it and it and it and it, it works. <laughs> it works. What is what is this? What is he doing this for? That's crazy. Um, I'm going to have to look into that some more. Figure out why it does that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. You can get all my stuff um on this channel obviously you're watching now and if you're watching this on a different service or embedded uh, if you go to hex dsl that's hexdsl.co.uk that's a link direct to my youtube channel don't forget to hit like if you like this video and hit the down vote the thumbs down i don't know whatever that, why would you click it why would you watch a video if you don't like some video don't, don't hassle them just leave it just go just go i don't know what about and don't forget to hit subscribe to see more 13 minute long rambles about getting killed by people in german bye